Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. Yeah, dude, I and, am. And it's spooky, Jonas. This is going to be a spooky episode. This is actually the day before Halloween. No, it's after Halloween. Whatever. This We're playing the Lions, the spookiest team in the league, and the Browns, who, you know... Ooh. They lull you into a false sense of uh, safety, and then they lose the game spookily. Yeah, they're all like, oh, you think we're going to win, and then whoa! <laughs> <laughs> nope, we didn't. Spooky. We definitely didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> jump scare you into losing. We'll jump scare your mother till she cries. All right, cool. Uh, what are you going to be for Halloween, Jonas? <laughs> um, a guy who's not going out for the pandemic. You don't want any candy? Do free candy. No, no, I'm going out. I'm just dressing up as a guy who doesn't leave his house for the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> just in a robe. They're like, what are you? I'm just like, I'm quarantining. They're yeah. like, no, you're not. I'm like, no, no, it's the costume. The disheveled hair. <laughs> yeah, like five o'clock shadow. Yeah, you got to have a shadow. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow I can just make myself gain 20 pounds. Oh, wait, I already did that. <laughs> Good job. Maybe. No, not quite. But, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, no. You say you're, you're not dressing up for Halloween. I don't, dude, I don't dress up for Halloween when it's not pandemic. Like, ever? Not really. When's the last time you dressed up for Halloween and what was your costume? All right, I'll do me. I remember. <laughs> I, was like, I was like trying to like roll through no, Halloween. No, it's fine. I will do, will do me. I remember, Jonas, I won a costume contest when I worked at Sears. Because was it was a very long time ago. But I think this is probably the last time I dressed up. There might be one other time after this. But I bought a electric blue wig. One of those like female electric blue wigs. Kind of like the... Uh, the cut with like the bangs yeah, and like then the, the bob. Long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always like always thought that was a hot thing. I don't like that hairstyle on women. Really? I, I hate bangs on a woman. Was, I thought it was cute, dude. Anyways. Anyway, I made my girl wear it. Anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, you were like, put that yeah, on, girl. And she's yes. like Yes. Are you kidding me? Anyway. <laughs> so I remember I did that and I borrowed a dress from my mom that was also blue. Yeah. And it had like giraffes and elephants and tigers on it, but it was all like blue. And it was very like 1980s, 1990s. Wore that one best costume. Nice, you cross dressed. And I didn't, wait, hold, excuse me? It was Halloween, Jonas. I did not cross dress. <laughs> I mean, I had a beard. And did you a, dress up as a woman? I w ex listen. <laughs> <laughs> Just curious. <laughs> you know, listen, we're not going to do that. Right? <laughs> no. I, I'm sure it probably was a good costume. I was, I'm no. sure it looked great because, like you listen. said, you had the beard and all that stuff. <laughs> like, yeah, like... yeah, it was. It, <laughs> listen. We, <laughs> so you cross dressed. <laughs> and they rewarded you for it. You, were, they pretty, <laughs> you were a pretty girl, dude. <laughs> and they rewarded me for it. I love it, dude. <laughs> That's funny. Dude, that's some funny stuff. Yo, <laughs> you calling dude, that me That sounds out. like it would be a funny costume for that sure. Is, that is funny. You calling me out for cross dressing. <laughs> that's good stuff, man. That's that's the kind of entertainment I want. I'm sorry. I just feel like I need to harp on it because I enjoyed it. <laughs> they gave you money. I enjoyed that. It was such a good costume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, so since then, maybe I think that's it. I've also done. Uh, I wore like that wig that I wore for for like backyard wrestling, and yeah. the, and the leopard print shirt and like some tight uh, jeans or some stuff. I've worn that outfit a couple times. I'm trying to think of the last time I like when I was married, my ex wife used to like to like dress up and go out. I'm trying to think if I did like I think I like I dressed up in Ohio when we were together when we went out like with like some other friends. You seem like just like a suit guy. I think I just I just got like yeah I do something. Oh, you know what I dressed up last year. I was just gonna say yeah <laughs> because I went to that Halloween party. Yeah, it was like it You're was just like it was like a suit jacket with a with a with a with bones printed on it, and I just like wore a hat and a mask, one yeah. of those like gators with a the guy smoking a cigar at the bottom, and 
That was it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I dressed up last year. That's right. Yeah, you're a skeleton man. Um, I didn't paint my face or anything. No, like I'm trying you're to think. You're Sam's. What did I? Yeah, I've dressed up because like I, I usually do really easy stuff that's like kind of basic. Like one time I was like I, I like we went to the Halloween store because my ex-wife wanted to dress up and I like got like a priest costume. It was just like a, a black thing that you wore over it and it had like a plastic cross you were around your neck. And I was like, oh, dude, I'm a priest. Like just so I could say I was dressed up. Like. <laughs> Low effort dressing up is still dressing oh, up. Oh, absolutely, dude. I'm very low effort dressing up. I mean, low effort almost works better. Oh, you know what? I did dress up last year, too, because I dressed up as a bunny for work. Oh, that's right, because you had the, yeah, I remember I that. bought the bunny ears, and I bought a bunny tail, and I wore all white. <laughs> <laughs> and I was a bunny, dude. And, I mean, easy peasy, dude. Yeah, it was just a big. Yeah, like I've done bunny. dumb stuff, like put on my Browns jersey and been like, "Oh, I'm a Browns player." <laughs> <laughs> I'm this dude on the back of my jersey. Yeah, I'm Kelly Holcomb, dude. <laughs> Kelly Holcomb, <laughs> um, who doesn't even exist. <laughs> he he doesn't doesn't even even exist. Did I ever tell you? Hold on, dude. He doesn't so even this exist. one time, so like. I uh, I bought I bought the Not Kelly Holcomb jersey person. way back when Kelly Holcomb was the quarterback of the Browns. Yeah. Woof. And the Browns have had a terrible a terrible uh, run at drafting good players that stayed on the team. So I've had plenty plenty of friends that spend lots of money on the brand new draft pick of the jersey, and then you know in two years they're no longer on the team. So I was like, f it, I'm never getting another Browns jersey. Until like they have a player that's worthwhile to get the thing. So I so I would always I, we, we had season tickets. We would go to Browns games. And this is like in 2015. Mm -hmm. No wait, 20 when did I live in Cleveland. 2012, 2013. So like 10 years after this dude was a quarterback, I'm still wearing his jersey. So we would go and tailgate. And one day I was at the tailgate lot and I was pretty drunk. And this dude came up to me and he like gave me like a half hug from like the side and he was like man he goes you know Kelly Holcomb's my cousin dude and I just really respect that somebody's still out here wearing his jersey and I just had to come up and give you a hug and say thank you for wearing his jersey out here and then he just like walked away and I was like is he being for real or like probably and I was just like that was very weird I did not consent for him to touch me and I was, like, playing cornhole, and he just kind of came up and, like, wrapped his arm around me. And I was like, this is odd. And then yeah. he just went away, dude. And I was like. I imagine that it probably means a lot to these players how many people wear their jersey. I'm sure that they all probably have at least glanced at, like, their personal jersey sales. Oh, absolutely. Dude, if I was a professional football player and I saw, like, they sold, like, a million of my jerseys, I would be like. That's really cool. Yeah, imagine being a top jersey seller. It's like your, it's like your, um, it's like your subscriber count. It, it, to a, a certain extent. Yeah. To a certain extent. You have a million people that spent those, like the the jerseys are almost a hundred dollars at very minimum now. So like you have like a million people who are willing to spend a hundred dollars to wear your name on their back. That that's a lot. That's, that's a, a lot. lot of money. I'm considering there are other grown men wearing another grown man's name on their. I'm, back. Look, I'm looking up Tom Brady. This year, Buccaneer. probably for sure, yeah. he's on a new team. Tom Brady Buccaneers is the top selling jersey right yeah, now. Yeah, because dude, he was with the Patriots for 20 years, dude. They're like, yeah, we got the Pats jersey, and, dude. They're and, like, a new jersey? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like when Jordan went to the Wizards, everybody, or when he changed his number from 23 to 45. Oh, yeah. Everyone was yeah, like, dude, yeah, I need yeah. the 45 J Jordan jersey now. Yeah, that's very true. And then you got to think LeBron jerseys. He's been to like four different teams, too. So I can and he changed his number. He, yep. was, he was like 23, and then he was eight. Or at six, <laughs> not six. So changing the number is a good way to boost jersey sales. Changing how, teams. How often can a player change their number? I'm sure you I know this. I think they can change it as often as they want. Really? And just most of them, most of them are like either like superstitious or like, you know, you, they become synonymous with a number. So changing it's kind of a big deal. I'm wondering if, like, could I change it, like, every three games? No, because it's, it's stuck for the season. I think it's season by season. Okay. Yeah. Because I would definitely love to change if I if I were a accomplished football player. As, like, a stealth <laughs> tactic so no one knows who you are? No. Keep not, even, not even that. Just so that I could have, like, three different numbers, kind of like, you know, on my jersey. And then people would buy... 
one of three numbers. No, he's better when he's number seven. No, he's oh, better when good. he's number 77. No, he's better when he's 07. There's no way that all three of those could be for the same player, but I'll let you run with it. <laughs> I want those numbers, yo. Two of them. One of them isn't even a number you can put on a jersey. <laughs> you can't, can't have 07. <laughs> can I be 007? But yes, dude. They, you can have 007. That would be great, yo. I don't know why I don't even put... I want to put letters on my jersey. I just want a big V on my back. Look, Hero's number five. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That was good. Very good, Joe. Just, I'm just happy you picked a Roman numeral. I didn't say like, didn't say like J. Just put J on my jersey. No, it was a good catch. <laughs> you're, you're, you're picking up, you're picking up steam today, yeah, man. Dude, I got Look some at steam. you. I like your steam. <laughs> I like your steam. Too. <laughs> Don't talk about my steam. <laughs> Don't you ever talk about my steam. <laughs> That's good. But yeah, I don't know, dude. I I, I kind of feel like I, I like I understand that football's win is for a reason, but you know, come on, let me put let me put something cool on there. Can I just put like a, a I don't know a sticker? Can I put my 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 daughter's name on my back? Oh uh, no, <laughs> I don't have a the daughter. The let you put some stuff on it. Back the first time. Oh yeah. I wonder if the, how long it's going to take until that comes back. Obviously, it's going to be some years. But the Rock bought it. And, well, he bought partial. He didn't buy the well, whole he, thing. He, he's part of an investment group that bought the entire league. Yeah. They, so they, they own the league. So great time to buy. By the way, the thing just went bankrupt again. It's obviously COVID and well, like if people who are invested are like we can't afford. Well, to keep it's this just structure. kind of it's just kind of uh, tragic for Vince McMahon because like it was doing fairly well and they got yeah. like five games or four games into the season and pandemic hit and they're like we can't afford to we don't we've not made a full season of revenue yet. We're already yeah. after they put mil hundreds of millions of dollars into it. Yeah, we we need it. The first year to be the best, right? <laughs> or at least be positive, you know. Mm -hmm. But then, yeah. So then, the Rock can just swoop it up. Yeah, good time for him to buy. You know, buy buy low, sell high. Yeah. So I I'm just wondering were, how long uh, it's going to take for it to be viable for him because he's got it's sitting on the shelf right now. I'm trying now. to think if when they bought it, if they said it would be 2022 off the bat. I think they did. I think they said spring of 2022. That's like from. Wow. That's a good prediction. Like I, because they were like, "Well, it's a pandemic. We bought it. Let's get, and we're gonna need time to get prepped and get you know." Or, so, but to be realistic, it may be 2023 by the yeah. time pan, by the time it gets to a point where a pandemic and they can organize and they can. No, oh, yeah, and they can always push it back. Yep, I just it just kind of <laughs> sucks that it uh it didn't. I mean, it, I watched some of it. It wasn't. I mean, it was okay. It seems to me like it, it wasn't like rock and jock was <laughs> <laughs> rock and no. It was like football, dude. It was like it, was it like, wasn't like rock and jock like, football. What I did really like about it, dude, that was different from last time is like so like the quarterback would like screw up and throw an interception. As soon as he hit the sideline, they'd be like, So you just threw an interception. What do you think about <laughs> get right in their really? face? Yeah, dude. They would like Jeez. sideline report as things were happening. So then hopefully to catch them being an a-hole, but they'd always be like you know, I just didn't see that guy over there. He kind of caught, you know, he, he came out of, or, you know, just like whatever. But you got to catch people when their emotions are high. So they be like, F, you know, but they I, they didn't I have kinda, any, like, big moments. But I kind of like that. I idea. do, too, dude. I thought that was, dude, imagine, like, Tom Brady throws a game-losing interception. And then they're like, so what do you think about that, Tommy? What happened? And, they, you know, just try to catch him, like, losing their cool. I mean, it is kind of baiting. A little oh, bit. Yeah. That's a little baiting. Oh, absolutely, but it's baiting. That's some baiting. That's masturbating. That is some masturbation <laughs> material. That is. <laughs> that's I mean, what that is right there. Might as well just masturbate it, dude. Dude, that is. I'm telling you. But yeah, it was. It was pretty funny. Um, yeah, it was good. I'll see. I'll watch it when it comes back, dude. I like football, dude. So I mean, it's no. It's no worse than college football. It's like I mean it's it's it's, yeah, cause it's, it's equivalent to watching like a middle of the road college team because a lot of them are pros right or ex they're all they're all per, they're all people who I mean they used to either either used to play on an NFL team yeah. and no longer do or they yeah, yeah, yeah. went to college and played football or whatever dude so I mean it's they have they're just not 
you know, the NFL has, what, 53 men on a team. There's 30 teams. So you're talking like 15, 1,600 players. Yeah. So they're not in the best 1,600 players, essentially. But that's yeah. not even necessarily true because you only have, say, four running backs a team. So that's 120 running backs. So, like, yeah, you're not in the top 120 in the country. That doesn't mean no, you're yeah, bad. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so That's what just, I was going to say. There's only so many slots open. Right. Right. In some, in some positions, like wide receivers and linemen and stuff like that, they have a lot more than they have of, like, punters. Like, mm -hmm. there's 32 punters, dude. Like, if you're not in the top 32, like, you, you can still kick the ball pretty far. You just aren't on an NFL team. Yeah. So, it's like, it, they're high level, but you can... But you can absolute. It's like you take for granted the level of skill the players who play in the NFL have until you see players play that don't have that amount of skill, and then you're like, "Oh, these quarterbacks just aren't quite as good as you know." It's like consistency. The throws man. are off a little bit. They're not consistent. Exactly. And it's it's, it's amazing to me like how there's like a con every year they're bringing in new people. Uh huh. Yeah. Which means that is somebody forced out every yeah, year? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Wow, man. Because there's just limited slots. There's yeah. limited slots. Yeah, they say the average career of a football player is three years. And that doesn't even mean uh. you're going to be starting the whole time. That means if you make the NFL, on average, you will last three years and then you're done. Then there's people like Tom Brady who last 20. And there's people who last not even one. You know, they get in and they don't even make it a year uh. and they get cut. So it's wow. like... So that's why they're like, make the money while you can make the money, but protect your money because like it can be gone in a minute. Are you saying Brady Quinn doesn't play football? No, he does not. He's an announcer now, dude. He's trash at that, too. Wow, dude. I mean, that was also like 12 years ago, so he's kind of past his prime. But he was the next coming, dude. He was the Messiah. You know how many guys have been the next coming and then just not came? Oh, uh, dude, why can't they come? Uh, dude, I don't know why they can't come. Sounds like a personal problem. Jesus, Jonas, man, we try so hard. You try so hard to make him come. And in the end, it doesn't even matter. And he doesn't even come. He never even shows up. Yeah, dude. So, yeah. It's, Dang uh, it. That sucks. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why, like, a lot of times, like, when guys hold out for more money or, like, whatever, I don't really blame them, dude, because the second they don't perform to that elite level, the second they blow out their knee, the team will just, like, kick them to the curb, dude. Contractor, no, they're like, yep, we'll cut you. Yeah, we'll pay the we'll pay the contract break fee, whatever. Yeah. And then that's it. That's all they get. And then no one else signs them and they're done forever. That's unfortunate, man. But uh, it, it, I guess that makes it, it good that uh, there's – other teams like they, a lot of them can go to Canadian football. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then the XFL weird, but... was in. The, yeah, it is a little weird. And then there's arena football, which a lot of those good players can go to. Yep, exactly. And so then, I mean, there is other, but they, but like you know, but you're talking like, it's like you're talking, it's like making minimum wage. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah you get to play football but, for a living, but you make probably the same amount that I make at my my corporate job. But if that's you know all you oh, know how to do, and dude, if that's the thing that you enjoy doing, doing the most, dude, then if hell. I could if I could make the same amount of money I make now to play football <laughs> for a living, I probably would do that. I would not. I don't want to play but football yeah, for yeah, a like, What do you love to do? If you could make the same amount of money you make right now for... Talk? This? Having intercourse with a beautiful woman. I mean, of course. I'd okay, that, then. Dude. See? No, I would, uh, I would... Like, yeah. I just want, I want to talk for a living, dude. I want to like get a, a podcast that's popular. YouTube. You have a popular podcast and a popular YouTube. <laughs> but I don't make money. Doing it. Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, maybe you should ask these fine young people to go to their mom's first. Let's get an OnlyFans. Let's get an Only. I have said this a hundred times. What are we gonna put on there? I don't know. We can twist our penises up together, like <laughs> make a make a pretzel, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like make a, braid, a braided uh, honey honey dip. Like one of those French bread twists. A baguette. <laughs> a baguette. <laughs> Make a penis bugger. <laughs> Rapper pigs in a blanket. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> Two pigs, one blanket. Ew. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Why? Why, <laughs> dude? I got a mental image. It's not funny once I get a mental no, image. No, dude. I, that's it why I don't use my mind funny. for anything. <laughs> I use my mind for anything. Yeah, dude. Once the mental image is there. Oh my it's gosh. All gone. Ugh, that's too much. Two pigs. It's all coming back. It's all coming back to me now. <sighs> yeah, man. Dude. 
too much. All right. Well, yeah. So you know, uh, N- NBA has uh, like Ice Cube's big three. Ice Cube started the big three. Yes, which I is saw like, that. It was like a three man. It's a lot of like over the hill players. So wow. Not like forty year old dudes playing ball. I mean, they're still good. Yeah, but like, there's a lot better twenty five year olds out there who That's probably true. play in that league. Why is it all like old folks? It's like Iverson and like. Ray Allen and like uh, Stephon Vince, Marbury, Vince Carter. Yeah, dude. Like, why are you guys in this? Because they're still good. They're like, yeah, because they ain't got to play D. There's only three of them. They can just shoot. Hey, like I ain't got to run. I can just shoot. Hey. <laughs> hey, look, I don't have a problem. I think they should have an older. Well, I don't. I guess they couldn't have an older football. Yeah, get like fifty year old dudes out there breaking hips. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have a senior PGA tour. Well, yeah, but it's low impact. We're talking about low impact sports yeah, they, versus. They should just, have like a senior baseball, because I mean, those are the types that want to watch baseball anyway. So you'd never see anybody get a hit. Nobody's hitting anything. Yeah, but they, dude, if, <laughs> T-ball. but the pitchers can only throw like fifty miles an hour anyway. So it's it's all it's all relative, dude. I don't want to see old ass Mark McGuire getting up there with freaking a Rod. Yeah, throwing their fifty year old. Billionaire. Hey, Rod. He's got to get away from Madonna long enough. <laughs> he's with J-Lo now, yeah, He's right? with J-Lo now. He's yeah. very much put his penis in the music wow, industry. Wow, Jonas. Okay. <laughs> When's he going to date Mariah? Mariah, you're on fire. She is still hot at, like, 72. She's not quite that old yet. She, she is 65 years old. She is not 65 years old. <laughs> <laughs> She's not a senior citizen. No, he's Swear to you, she is seventy-two, Jonas. Don't even. Madonna's me... like seventy-two. Mariah Carey, dude. Mariah Carey. Mariah. Age, dude. Age. Give me the age. Here it is. Boom. She is fifty years old. Fifty? How old's Madonna? Because she's like she. I think she is seventy. Madonna's a trillion. Hold on. We'll get Madonna. Madonna we'll get that real quick before we end this. Age, dude. Sixty-two. Sixty-two. Yeah. Ooh, she's almost a senior. She, she was a like senior. a virgin in the nah, 80s, dude. 60 is a senior. You get cards at 60. Yeah, dude. She was like a virgin once. Share 74. Dang. Yeah, but she don't. She she looks 74, dude. Mm-hmm. Cindy Lopper is 67. Aw. She bop, dude. Yeah, she could still get it. Yeah. Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make Shakira, sure to like and subscribe. Shakira is 43. <laughs> Who? Shakira? Yeah. Shout out to Shakira. Uh, if you've already done that, please make sure he does Twitch. TNT Dynamite on Twitch. TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town at twitch.tv. Come hang out with me. For Jonas. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We yeah. are oh. out of time.